so many of you are not doing this. Trial and error when it comes to web designing is invaluable. When you dive into solving a problem, you will uncover the layers of the problem. You see what breaks, what works, and what lies in the middle. That process, frustrating as it may feel, is where you're going to have a real understanding of the problem. And it's where the puzzle will slowly start to reveal itself. Now, if you skip this and go straight to asking for help on forums and stuff like that, and there's nothing wrong with that, you're going to miss the deeper insights. You might solve the problem, sure. But did you actually know the reason why you had the problem? Why was it causing you grief? And once you understand why, that is what's going to sharpen your instincts. So if you come across that problem again, you know what to do about it. And the other thing to consider, like I just said at the start, did you really ever understand the problem? If you didn't, how can you expect others to help you? You're going to write like a, a little question or throw a screenshot. But if you can't explain it, how can they truly help you? Now, trial and error isn't wasted time. It's an investment in your skill. Because when you eventually do ask for help, and you, sometimes you will, you're going to have better clarity. You'll know the questions to ask, the variables to consider, and the pain points that matter. So you can clarify, this is what is wrong, or this is what I've done. How can I improve on this? And that completely changes the conversation. You're no longer seeking a one-stop answer. You're collaborating on a solution. Dig into the cauldron. Stir it. See what rises in the cauldron. And that effort is going to shape you as a designer. And when the time comes to ask for help, you're going to be better ready, equipped, informed, and far more powerful than if you hadn't tried at all. Trial and error. Give it a go.